So here we have the BMW 535D on an 09 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a four-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and loads of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circuit of it though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge, and on the right-hand side, the rev counter. Uh, in the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. First of all, they are 134,204. Uh, you can change the information that's displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel. We have controls for the phone and the stereo. We have the paddles so that you can change up and down a gear. Uh, we have those on both sides of the steering wheel, as you can see. And then we have cruise control down here. In the center, we have the main screen for the car. Very easy system to use. As you can see, uh, it's not too difficult to work out where uh, you navigate your way around on these screens. Uh, the movement on the screen is done using this dial. This is uh, BMW's iDrive system. So you can use the dial to move around, up and down, left and right. It rotates, it pushes down as well. Uh, or you can use a series of buttons around it. So for example, you can instantly access your satellite navigation. We can go to our main menu. We can access our radio and music from on here as well, or use the dial to do everything. The dial is a lot easier whilst you are driving along, of course, so you can access your climate control, your uh, entertainment menu from on here as well. Uh, working our way down from that, we then have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can increase, and decrease the fan speed from on here. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. Or hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can override that by making any manual adjustment of your own, uh, and then you can put it back on whatever settings you want it on, on here. Uh, all of the settings as you make them will show on the main screen just there. Below that, we have the volume for the stereo. We have the CD player uh, just here. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings. You can turn the parking sensors on and off. We've also got the heated passenger seat over this side as well. We have uh, some uh, storage here or an ashtray, cigarette lighter or 12 volt charging socket, however you wish to use that. Some storage along with our locking wheel nut key and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.